Hey everyone, this is Adam with Uber and Lyft. You can search for my videos by looking for Adam6177, my driver code, online here on YouTube. i um, here to talk to you about some amenities you can have, um, which include phone chargers. So a lot of drivers have gotten in the habit of carrying water, maybe gum, maybe candy. I don't like to have candy in my car, it just gets too messy. Um, and then customers don't like it either, it makes their fingers sticky, and you gotta have wipes for that. But um, the big thing that people depend on as they're going about their day is phone chargers, both for Android and for iPhone. So you can have um, a lot of different things. Here's a little battery pack I found. I actually have one of these battery packs for when I'm uh, not in my car and I wanna keep my phone charged. But let's look at phone chargers. You've got these Android uh, connectors as well as iPhone connectors. There's the iPhone 4, which is an older iPhone phone charger. Uh, you probably know this, uh, this is nothing new for you if you're tech savvy, but if you're a newer driver and you're not too familiar with technology, um, some of our customers will have the new one, like right here, the iPhone 5. So you can see the iPhone 5 charger, iPhone 6 uses that same charger with a smaller connector. And then the older iPhone connector is the iPhone uh, 4 and 3. I don't think anyone would have the 3 anymore. But keep in mind, customers, they're going to have... Um, a smartphone to use the Uber, Lyft, or sidecar service, a uh, touchscreen phone, an old flip phone that does not have a touchscreen or any bar style phone that doesn't have a touchscreen wouldn't be using the Uber, Lyft, or sidecar service. So you really only need chargers for the Android models as well as the iPhone um, 5, 6, and maybe the iPhone 4. Um, so I have all of those in my car. Uh, the best drivers have those available because the customers may be going from home to work and their cell phone is about to die. They can also uh, not request you if uh, their phone is dead. So it, it helps your business as a driver to have them fully charged because they might be requesting you just while their phone is at 5% or 3, 2, 1% battery. Sometimes customers will request you, they'll call you or text you immediately saying, hey, my phone is about to die. I'm on the corner of such and such street, uh, so please look for me or they'll tell you what color shirt they're wearing and their phone's about to die and you are you are their savior when you pull up and you help them charge their phone and get them going again because they might need to request again while they're still out and maybe they forgot to take their charger or they lost their charger or whatever the case. So just keep in mind that's a big deal to have um, and also make sure your customer doesn't accidentally take the charger with them when they get out and then Another thing is an auxiliary cable for music that looks like a quarter inch plug. You don't really need to have that, but some customers, you know, they're musicians, they like to share their music with you, or they have a favorite jam, like, uh, you know, whatever the newest artist releases, they want to hear that while they're driving. And um, my recommendation also is do not buy a phone charger at a retail store, retail store. Uh, those com companies will charge as much as $20, $25. It kind of seems like price gouging, but that's kind of the standard price at a retail store. I would go to, I mean retail phone store, um, I would go to some place like a Home Depot or a Radio Shack or even a discount store to grab a phone charger from anywhere from 5 to $10. You could even get one on a sidewalk sale that works just fine. Just check the packaging, make sure it hasn't been opened already. And... Um, you can have all, all of those phone chargers in your car, keep your phone charging uh, while you're driving. I like to also mount my phone on my air conditioning so it keeps my phone cool. And that'll help you uh, maintain a five-star rating, so just something to keep in mind. Thanks a lot for watching.